let's review those concepts. Yeah, so, so what does what does M sub zero stand for? The amount of isotopes. The amount of nucleuses. At and what does N stand for? At the end. At the end of period time T. Let's yeah. take our time and review that for a second. N sub zero is the original number of nucleuses, and then after time T, N is how many remain. You can see that from our graph, right? N sub zero is our original number of nucleuses. And then n is how much we have left after time has gone on. Now, how about a and a sub zero? What does a sub zero stand for? A is the activity. Yeah, what are the units for that? Decays per second. That's right, because that tells us how, how rapid the decay is. What's the difference between a sub zero and a? A sub zero is at the beginning and a is after time Yeah, after t. time t. Okay, that's right. So a, in this case, is a three two two. Okay. Or a sub zero is. Which one? It's a a sub zero. Okay. Three two two. Good. And then a is three o oh, eight two. Good. And then. So let's try to build all that information into a graph like this to start with. How will that go in our graph? You can plug in your actual numbers. Good, and where would you plug in the 8322? Right here. Ah, now you got that. Good, and where would you plug in the 4? 4 is here. Right. So, it's always good to use one of these graphs when you're doing a decay problem. The original activity is 8322 decays per minute, and then it falls to 3082, which is maybe around here. That would be A, 3082 decays per minute. And we know that happens over four days. Ah. OK, now that we have our graph, we can continue with the algebra. So the equation 3082 equals 8322 times t to the negative 4 over t. Okay. That sounds good. Do you have to convert like the units? That's a good question. Now it's good that you plugged in four for, and what were the units on the four? Days. It's good that you plugged in four for t and not for t one half. We don't know the half life. What's the question asking us for? The half life. So it's always a good idea to write down what the question is asking us for. What are the units on the 3082? The decays per minute. And what are the units on the 8322? Okay, now it turns out, so I think the thing that's worrying you is this is in minutes and this is in days. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's gonna make any difference because these units are gonna cancel with these units anyway. Okay. The important thing is these two symbols have to be in the same units. A and A sub zero have to be in the same units. And then when you simplify, the units will, uh, will cancel and T and T one half have to be in the same units. These two have to be in the same units, and these two have to be in the same units. But you don't have to use the same time units for the time that you do for N or A. Okay. Of course, if you weren't sure, the same thing would always be to convert, but we don't actually have to do the conversion here.
Seems good. So you got to this far, you took the log of both sides so the exponent would come down, and now we can simplify, simplify by doing 4 times log of 2. Mm -hmm. And you got negative 0.277. We shouldn't use t for this symbol, we should use t one half, because it's not the time, it's the half-life. And then you have to do a little algebra here. Yeah, you just cross multiply. One thing we could do is it would be simpler now just to multiply both sides by negative 1. So the negative signs cancel. Oh, yeah. The negative signs can cancel because there's a negative on both sides. So we get 0.99 t to the 1 half. Basically, we can see from this that the half-life is just about 2.77. pause there was we weren't sure about the units and we saw that a and a0 have to be in the same units and t and t1 half have to be in the same units but the units for the times don't have to be the same as the units for the activity because the units are going to cancel and we use this equation uh, over here okay so uh, these are the five key equations again for decay and we went over the algebra that you need for solving those it's always a good idea to also draw your graph so you can think uh, clearly about uh, what you're doing there We can see here that in the four days, the activity fell by more than half. In the four days, the activity fell by more than half. So the half-life must be less than four days. That's what we got. The half-life was less than four days, so it fell by more than half.